This is going to be a complete playthrough of Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke was uh, released in 1985. It's a vertical strolling run and gun shooter. Uh, kind of like Commando. <clears throat> it was released on the arcade. This is the, the NES version. Uh, it's a western themed game designed by Yoshiki Akamoto. It centers on a character around a character named Billy Bob. And he's a bounty hunter. So yeah, you're just walking down the street, <clears throat> you know, going from top to bottom, uh, blowing anyone that gets in your way to hell. You've got money that you need to collect because you need to buy uh, weapons. You know, you can buy machine gun, shotguns, magnum rounds, uh, a neutron bomb. <laughs> Believe it or not, I I I haven't used that. Uh, I just I just didn't believe in using it. You know what I mean? I mean I got some kind of morals. I think a western should be a western, not freaking dropping a, atomic bombs on people. But anyways, yeah. So you're going down the street. You, you got NPCs like this uh, lady right here with the exclamation mark above her head. She can either be selling you guns or she can be selling you equipment that you need, such as uh, wanted posters horses or ammunition for your guns that you bought. Now right here's a horse icon. <clears throat> you get that, the horse, uh, not only can you move faster, but you can also take more hits before dying. The horse is probably the best uh, item on the game, to be honest. Uh, this guy right here, he's another NPC that'll sell you uh, equipment or weapons. I say either or because Sometimes the, the woman will be selling the equipment, or sometimes a guy will be selling the, the guns, but sometimes, you know, depending on the level, it switches. Now, you have to find, you, you have to have the wanted poster to complete the level, uh, to, to get into the, bo the boss fight. If you don't have the wanted poster, the game will just keep looping over and over and over again. And it's very aggravating, very annoying. I, I kind of wish that wasn't in the game. I wish that you just got to the end of the level and you had a boss fight. Like every other freaking game. But no, not, not this game. This game wants to be special. It wants to uh, put you through hell. And it does. This this is probably one of the hardest uh, get Nintendo games that I ever, ever played. And I mean, I'm, I'm just getting my ass handed to me constantly on this game. That's why this video is like an hour long, just about an hour long. I mean, it's it's incredible. I don't know how long it would take uh, someone else to beat this game. I, I haven't looked at a complete playthrough by anybody else. But I imagine it, it would only take you maybe 30 minutes. But because I just get my ass kicked so bad in like the level 3 and 4. And the final, the final level is just ridiculous because... Uh, the floor, the ground that you're walking on is um, opaque white, and the bullets are the same color, so when the enemy are shooting at me on the last stage, I can't see their bullets, so I just keep dying over and over and over and over again. So it's very aggravating, I know it, it, it doesn't make for a very, very thrilling gameplay to watch someone just repeatedly dying over and over again, so I apologize for that, but I wanted to stay true to the game and show it in its entirety. So here you go, you got the shotgun, the machine gun, Magnum Smart Bomb. Uh, I've used the, let's see, I, I've used the machine gun, I like the machine gun. I, the, the Magnum is, is a must, really. For boss fights, you really want to have the Magnum because it does so much freaking damage to the bosses. The machine gun's good, you know. Uh, shotgun I haven't used, and the, uh, the, uh, the bomb, I haven't used that. There's the horse again. But your your uh, the points up there, that's your money. That, 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 that it's not just points; it's actual currency. So money and points actually, you know, are important in this in this game. Okay, now you got your like I said, you got your ammo, you got your horse, you got your wanted. You buy the wanted poster so you can unlock the boss battle, or it's just gonna keep going on forever. There's, uh, let's see, there's, there's different 
those rifles that you see on the gr like if you destroy the crate or the barrel should I say you, you destroy a barrel and you see a rifle land there that's gonna be a long range you, you see right there yeah right there now I'll be able to fire further away than uh, you know right in your right in my <clears throat> front of me so uh, I, because I'm playing this on Retroarch, 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 sorry, uh, I have the turbo shot on, and it, it really helps also, because, I mean, my thumbs were, by the time I was done playing this game, my thumbs were killing me. I thought I was going to lose my thumb, my right thumb. But here's the boss fight. Now, this guy, he likes to just lay on the ground like a pussy. Just wait for him to jump up. <clears throat> or stand up and then you, you can attack him. It's not even really the bosses that are that tough. It's just the onslaught of enemy, the, the wave after wave after wave of enemies that, that are coming on the screen. And in the later stages, this is a huge problem. Huge problem. But we take this asshole out, no problem. He was easy. He's going to the boneyard. And we get $10,000 for taking his ass out. <clears throat> so moving on. And then you got Fat Man Jack here. For Cutter. He uses boomerangs and uh, those are a pain in the ass. But once again I didn't have too much trouble with him. It, it was really just the stage itself. This is this is this is where the uh, the difficulty starts you know cranking up. And a lot of the times I die from shit just like that where I see the bullets, you know, they're moving so, look, you see them moving so slow, yet, because I'm moving back and forth like I've got some kind of problem, spastic problem, I walk right into the damn bullets, so I, I don't know, man, I just, maybe it's just me, I, because <laughs> this is, the, the, the bullets are not traveling that fast, you know, it's just, I know, I get into these games and I just kind of lose focus sometimes. I like, like, I just, I don't know, I'm thinking about something else. And that definitely happens later on in the game. I just start, like, tuning out. Like, I'm thinking about what I did at work, you know, or what I need to do later on in the day. And and uh, that's a problem with games that just keep going on and on and on. I, you know, I kind of just want to get to the end. Like I said, I just, I just want to get to the boss fight. Get it over with. <clears throat> Not to say that this is a game that I want to rush through because I had fun playing it. Now, towards the end of the game, I started fucking freaking out. You know, I was like, all right, all right, just end. But uh, it's a good game. It's, it's definitely a good classic Nintendo game. Definitely. Uh, I remember renting this. I, re I rented it from the arcade, arcade, from my video store by my house when I was a kid like one or two times. I don't think I rented it that much because when I played it as a child I couldn't get past the first level. Like I mean I didn't have a Nintendo Advantage controller so I didn't have Turbo Fire. And uh, I didn't have a Game Genie at, the, at that time either. <clears throat> I ended up getting one later on when I was a kid but not when I played this game or at least I don't remember having a Game Genie at this time. But anyways I couldn't get past the first level uh, I just was like, screw this, you know, I'm like, you're, you're talking about probably six or seven or maybe eight years old, and I was just like, you know, whatever, I'm done with this shit, and, uh, I'll just move on to something else, and that's what I did, and I just kind of, I knew about the game, you know, I've known about this game my whole life, but this is the, the first time that I've actually played through and beat the game, and it won't be the last because th it was fun. It was a it was a fun playthrough. It just kind of went on and on and on and on. But here we go. Here we got Cutter, and he's got these boomerangs now. <clears throat> I'm using the Magnum right here, I believe, and I'm making short work of him. Yeah, took him out, no problem. The game's definitely fun, it's just, it does start wearing on my patience, though. Now, this level right here, this level right here can go fuck itself, because these engines, if I could even say that, <laughs> they go 
freaking berserk, man. They're just all over the screen. Jumping around, shooting in all directions. And there's like, they fill up the whole screen, so you really are just, you're just bombarded with enemy. And this boss fight, oh my god, it, it was tougher than the end boss. I, I didn't have this much trouble with the, the end boss. I don't understand. I, the, now the cowboy boots, they make you move faster. The uh, the cow skulls, I, I have no idea what they do. No idea. I could look it up on my phone, but I just don't care enough to find out. But <clears throat> anyways, moving on. Yeah, you will make sure you get that magnum. And the thing about it is, just hold on to it. Don't equip it, you know, as soon as you buy it. Because one, if you die, you lose your gun. If you've got it equipped, like Contra, you know, if you die holding the gun on Contra, you're gonna lose that gun. So you want to make sure you have the Magnum held off in your inventory until the boss fight. Very important. And even then, if you see a uh, enemy bullet coming towards you or an enemy is gonna hit you. Make sure you press the select button and select back to your default weapon. You do not want to use that. You do not want to lose that magnum. I'm telling you right now. I think eventually on this stage right here with this boss fight, I think that's what happened to me. I think I, I had the magnum out, but I died and I lost it. And man, it just made the boss fight exact. you know, just god awful. Now, you don't have to buy, that's the thing, you don't have to buy the wanted poster. They're hidden on each level. You just have to know where to look for them. Because this one right here is $50,000. I mean, it's, it's, it's expensive. I mean, if you're just going to keep looping around, looping around, looping around until you get the 50 grand or you find it hidden in the stage. I'm actually not doing too bad right here, considering. But yeah, now that that's a, that, that brings me to another uh, fault with this game that I have. Oh, you see, I fuck up because I select the Magnum, thinking that I have it forever, and you don't. You, you, when you die, you lose it, and I just gave it up right there, like an idiot. But uh, what, what I was uh, saying is, uh, if you could turn around and you could face the other directions, because the the enemy themselves, look, they're they're three dimensional. They can turn in every direction and attack you. You cannot do that. All you can do is go forward. That's it. You cannot turn around and shoot behind you. Now you might be able to do that on their arcade game, but you can't do it on the NES version. Uh, and I don't think you can do it on the arcade game either. But anyways, that right there becomes a- look, that becomes a problem because the enemy come up from behind you and you can't do shit about it. All you can do is try to maneuver, maneuver behind, you know, around them, work around them. And it's a, it's a, it, on the last stage, or the third, third, to the last, uh, I can't remember. I, I think it's like the second to the last. That that level, it's it's a huge, huge problem, and I die so many times because there's enemy coming up from behind me, and I can't do crap about it. So, all right, and then you also got those like uh, uh, umbrella emblems or whatever. Now there's two versions. There's a red and white and a blue and a white. The red and the white, as far as I know, gives you extra points when you kill enemies. I, I think that's what it does. The blue and the white gives you an in invincibility. You'll hear like a, a, a bell or a, a siren going off. And while that's going off, you're invincible. But when it goes away completely and you don't hear that anymore, then you're uh, vulnerable again to uh, damage.
coming up on the lady. I'm gonna buy the uh, the wanted poster. Get this damn level over with. If I had enough money for a horse, I would have bought the horse also. That would have definitely helped. So yeah, I mean, I'm just die, die, die. That's what's going on right here. There's just so much crap being thrown at me, being shot at me. People jumping around with tomahawks. It's crazy. I mean, I'm just committing genocide on the whole Navajo tribe here. I mean, I'm just going through men, women, and children. And he's just Billy Bob's <laughs> laying down justice. One bullet at a time. I guess that's kind of how they were back then, though, you know? I mean, I, I've heard stories of, like, General Custer, his, uh, his army, you know, marching through and tribes and stuff, and just vicious, vicious bastard. Do I, do I have enough? Get the mag. Yes, I got enough for the magnum. All right, good, good, good. Just, uh. like I said, if I could just turn around, if he just turn around and shoot behind him, wouldn't be a problem. He could still keep moving forward. I don't. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't think of that. Why they didn't. Give you that option, turn around. Coming up on the chief here. Uh, let's see if I can take him out with the magnum. I need to need to keep it. Ah, nope, nope, nope. Lost it, and that's going to be a problem. I'm telling you right now, that is going to be a huge problem. And he's got this freaking attack where he throws like five fireballs out, and. I mean, just look look at the spread shot on that. you got to be, like, right in the center. Right in the middle of those shots or you're going to get hit. Then you got those other assholes just all around you. I mean, the boss fight's tough enough, but then you got all of his, his cronies. And, man, it just makes one frustrating experience. This is where I started hating the game. Like, ah, I just want to fucking quit. I, like, I just want to, you know, cut the game off. Because I die so many times. I think I even ended up saying that to myself at one point. I'm like, you know what? If I die one more time, I'm done. But I stick with it. Ugh. It's crazy. Yeah, and and the thing about it, that, that's how, this is kind of the person that I am when I'm playing video games, especially these hard-ass video games like this. Uh, if I keep dying over and over again, it's like I just lose all hope and I just start really playing bad. Like I I can go from playing okay or mediocre to 
get my ass handed to me and then just like losing all faith. Like I just don't even, you know, like I don't even fucking care. I'm not paying attention anymore. I'm just doing dumb shit. I'm not, I'm not even thinking about the game I'm playing because I'm just so frustrated. That's the kind of gamer I am. I just, uh, I get frustrated way too easy with uh, shit like this. And if I and, I, and I am using a cheat, you probably already know that, I'm, I'm using an infant live cheat. Uh, if I, if I had not been using that, I mean, if I only had like so many lives, there's no freaking way I could beat this game. No way I could beat this damn game. So, if anybody can actually go through this, and finish it on and I'm sure there's people out there that can I, I know I know they are but uh, for me I mean I just I, I wanted to finish the game in its entirety and the only way I could do that having to use old game genie codes oh man Just when I'm about ready to throw in the towel, I deliver the final shot. <clears throat> so yeah, I could have definitely been uh, faster on that level for sure. And now we got a ninja in the old Wild West. I mean, you know, sure, whatever. See, just walk right into that bullet. No, <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, this is the uh, the level. I think this is the level. It might, it might be the next one. But all the enemy just start coming up from behind you. Like, you're, you're just, you're powerless. You may as well just, yeah, right here. I mean, you just, I, I'm focused on <laughs> what's behind me, you know, and I get shot from the guy in front of me. And I just start dying over and over and over again. And that's what happens.
But honestly, this level wasn't that bad. It wasn't. It wasn't that terrible. It really wouldn't have been that bad if I could just turn around, like I said, shoot in the, in the, behind me. But whatever. You get those power uh, uh, emblems right there, and it will completely clear the screen of all enemies, which is very useful. Now uh, here's the boss fight. And I don't have the Magnum, so that's a problem. Now he's got this damn teleporting, you know, disappearing act that he's doing. And he can also throw uh, ninja stars. And he's got a katana, and he's flipping around, so... But, I didn't have that much trouble with him. I, I end up taking him out in another attempt or two here. I think I die there, and I think I get him on this one. Good hit on him right there, yep. Oh. Like I said, it's not it's not the boss it's not the boss fight so much, it's the enemy. It's just the the waves. But there we go, took him out. He wasn't that big of a problem. He was nothing like the chief. Now this level right here is it's just a level because Fat Fat Boy here, he wasn't a problem. I, re I remember taking him out very easy. But the level itself was a pain in the ass because there's the bridges you gotta cross. And the enemy just start really coming up from behind. By the Magnum there. That's good. Yeah, here we go. See? Already starting. Yeah, I mean, you can... <laughs> you can go off in the water, I think. I don't know if I ever did, but... I think I just tried to stay on the, uh... The bridge, but... Man, you, you're really just screwed. If they start coming up behind you while you're on the bridge. Okay, yeah, I, I definitely want that. Alright, can you see? I'm invincible. Now I'm not. <clears throat> that sound disappeared, that, that notification.
Time to deal with Fat Man Joe. I switched the old Magnum here. And look at that, man. I mean, it just... It just destroys enemies. It destroys bosses. Look at that. Your shots go clear across the... Uh, the screen. And yeah. Bam. Dead. Done. Moving on. Here we go. Final level. <clears throat> and you're going to see what I was talking about at the beginning of the video when I was saying that I was having trouble with this. You, you see the floor the floor tiles there? How they're, they're white, you know? And I, it's, it's very, very damn difficult for me to see the bullets. I, ca I can't see them. Like, they're pretty much well invisible. So I'm just, like, walking, constantly walking into the, in, into the, uh, the rounds. Yeah, I mean, so that that's what's up. That's what's going on. I, I can't see the bullets.
But yeah, uh, damn this level is all I can say. I mean, it just keeps going on and on and on and on. Even when you, when I have the wanted poster, it just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. It's like, okay, all right, I'm, I'm ready to quit the game now. I'm ready to beat it. This is where all my time went playing this. <laughs> I died so much during th this level right here. Ah, God. I'm, I'm at this point I'm just like you know I just want the game to end please and finally I think this is the, uh, the end of the level no keep still going <clears throat> oh man Yeah, starting to get really frustrated at this point.
by this point, I mean, I'm just about ready to rip my fucking hair out, out of my head, because I'm so frustrated. But I end up making it to the boss fight. I try the shotgun out. It's not. It's not a terrible weapon. It's, it's definitely not as good as the uh, the Magnum, but it's not bad. Lost it instantly. I was like, okay. Do I want to jeopardize the Magnum or? Do I, uh, yeah. Guess I'll try it. Yeah, I, I felt like I was gonna die, so I switched back to my standard pistol. Switch back to the Magnum, finish them off. I'm like, all right, I beat the game. Oh, but wait. I was like, what? What's this? Why is it... What's going on? There's two of them. They're brothers. I ended up freaking out. Because <laughs> I was trying to switch the uh, the weapon because I almost died right there. And I'm like, god damn it. There's two of them. And panic really started setting in because I... Was, I, I think I even said this at one point. I was like, I'm not going to be able to do this. But then I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going all in, babe. All or nothing. And... Done. Took him out. At this point, I'm like raging pretty bad, and I'm just like, I'm killing it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill everybody. <clears throat> boom, 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 boom. Got him. Done. So with that, the bad guys are pushing up daisies, and Billy Bob uh, has rode off into the sunset to fight another day. And the town people, oh, they still remember him. But yeah, that's Gunsmoke for the NES. Fun game. Definitely fun. Definitely a classic. Uh, like the music. Like the art style really wish that you could turn around and shoot behind you that would have made the game almost perfect in my opinion uh, it, it, it kind of goes on a little bit longer than it should you know I wish the wanted posters weren't even a thing I wish you just got to the end of the level and there was a boss fight but anyways that's Gunsmoke on the NES thank you for watching and I will talk to you later